but it's so important for us to limit uh, healthier people who might be asymptomatic or only a little bit sick or think they have allergies or a small cough, seasonal flu, uh, from spreading it to people who are much more vulnerable. And so that sort of mixture of messaging, I know Metro Health's been very clear about, about those things. Um, but how do we get to people to really pay attention who are feeling like this is oh, a little bit overblown or a little bit, uh, you know, too, too, too dramatic in the media? You know, I, Brian, I, I really do think people are getting that message. Um, Good. I, I live downtown and uh, had to get some water and, and walk to a uh, local store. The, the streets were deserted, right? Yeah. Um, it was almost a little concerning in, in Grand Rapids, Michigan. You know, right. think about that. But I think people are getting that message. They are getting the importance of that social distancing, just as you said, because you can feel mild symptoms or maybe have no symptoms, mm -hmm. but still spread it to others. And again, if you spread it to somebody who's older, who has underlying disease, I mean, that, that can truly be very serious and, and, you know, ultimately lead to their death, perhaps. Sure. This Full Exposure podcast episode has been made possible through the support of Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn, who believe that creativity and the arts are essential to a rich, healthy, and fulfilling life.